Okay, welcome back everyone to another, uh, this is my biking channel, yeah, so I'm doing another biking video. Um, today it's going to be how to wheelie, because uh, it's pretty hard and people don't know how to do it. Just assisting the internet once more. So today um, we're going to go through how to wheelie, what you need to wheelie, um, just some tips. I might do one trick at the end and then in part two I'll do some more easy tricks that I know and uh, they're easy to do. So uh, let's go. Okay, so to get it started, so I kind of forgot my, uh, well, I lost, I had the tripod and I had this sort of uh, bit, it was like a plate, has a screw on it and you stick it on the tripod and it screws onto your camera, so it's like a middleman. Um, and that's been lost, so I can't use my tripod, so. Um, what I'd recommend, so just starting off when you're going to start learning to do wheelies, um, go to an empty par car park, this is community church or something, and some like community buildings and stuff. So I was going to go to the train station car park, which is a lot easier, but um, people usually park by the, uh, the sort of the end of it, and people were parking at like the back end, and they were staying in their cars, so um, if you live in England, that's, uh, that's a little bit dodgy when people are just sitting in their cars at the back of a car park. So I uh, had to leave and come here. So as you can see there's loads of trees over there, a building, and then, well, there's bushes here, and then trees behind us as well. So it's nice and sheltered from the wind. Um, so I've been learning to fly like drones, and it probably won't focus, but at the top in that red bar it says not good to fly. So it says gusts of 28 miles per hour, 28 miles per hour and 14 uh, miles per hour wind. So that's not very good for flying, and it's not very good for wheelies either, because it's enough to sort of push you off track and uh, lose your balance. Another part that I would suggest heavily is a rucksack. I didn't bring it today because I've got like all this, but a rucksack that's filled with like a pillow, so just stuff a pillow in there. Um, I'm not going to be using mine because I've got quavers in there. Um, but yeah, just put like a pillow or um, uh, a pillow, anything that's like soft and cushiony really. So um, put that in there and then wear it so when you fall off, if you fall on your back, it won't hurt as much. Um, but that's only if you fall on your back because you mainly sort of jump off the back and onto your feet if you do. But that's what I'm going to go through now is my mistakes when I learn. Okay, so this this is my specialised hard rock, and if you've been following me for a while, you'll know that I used to have a red specialised. No, this is the rock hopper, and I used to have a rod a uh, hard rock, which was red, and it um, was cable V brakes, which weren't very good, and I never used to be able to reach the um, the, le the lever. Um, so what I did from that when I was learning to wheelie is I used to just jump off off the back, um, which I'll probably put a little demonstration in now. So I used to jump off the back and land on my legs, um, which now, whenever I go running, it hurts my legs, like my knees. I get like knee pains, um, old man knees. So it's not very good. Try and use your brake. And now we're gonna go on to how to adjust your brake. So I've got hydraulics, which are complicated as hell, but they are taking the front brake off. So this is your brake. Bit sunny. Um, it's not going to focus, is it? In there, where my finger is, there's a little screw you might be able to see. So that little screw, it might be on the outside edge around here, but if you tighten that, it'll bring the lever closer, which means when you're when you're like going, it'll be easier to pull. Um, another thing is make sure your front axle um, is nice and greased up, and that your brakes aren't rubbing on the front. I took mine off because they were rubbing, and it's just super annoying. Now for gearing, you want to have a nice, I've got a new chain on today, um, which it was pretty cheap, so it's probably not the best. Um, now, you want to have your chain really nicely um, up to date, because otherwise it could ruin your crank sh uh, like gears. So, a nice way to check is if you pull it like that, you shouldn't be able to see light through the other side when you pull it out like that. You can get t chain tools to sort of check um, if it's been like stretched, which will then sort of damage your gears and your teeth, which isn't too good. But now for the gears, so I like to have it in the middle. This is five, I've got nine speed. That's in gear five at the minute, I think. Yeah, that's in gear five, which is a nice one that I can accelerate at low speeds and keep going at high speeds. Um, that's important to have like an all round gear. And then I've got one higher and one lower for like really low, slow wheelies or really fast wheelies. So that helps a lot. 
and then uh, so that's pretty much it for the bike uh, also yeah the seat you want to have that sort of pretty much it's a bit hard to see but level with the handlebars a bit but you want to have it a nice height so just adjust it to how how you feel I, I wouldn't have it you'll see people uh, wheeling it really slammed like super low touching the uh, thing almost don't do that um, that works on wheelie bikes a bit but it doesn't work on mountain bikes because it's just super low and it just won't work um, enter uh, ex example A I'll probably do a clip um, so yeah now we're going to go into the actual technique of how to wheelie ok two things quick uh, as you saw around the light behind me as you saw from that clip um, it looks really awkward and it's sort of like really hunched up and it just doesn't work uh, also make sure you wear a helmet as, as well as the backpack I don't need a backpack because I'm not special um, well you're not special if you wear a backpack it just helps with padding and I'm, I'm good at wheelie so I don't need it um, also quickly wanted to mention I now have a discord server I did before but in this one is like is Jarek Gaming and James Rosen all in the same thing so there you'll get my uploads you can chat with other people that like wheelies or sup boarding or mountain bike whatever um, so yeah join that link will be in description and in my channel description and uh, yeah join it or else you're bad okay so here we're on the bike now we're gonna go through uh, what to do it's very sunny today I'm out of the bush now um, so what you want to have I've got a nine speed and I'm in the middle as you can see you want to try and shift down to maybe sort of if you've got a five up no if you've got a six speed I'd say three or two um, I'm also max in the middle I'm strapped there so I'm this is a two speed at the bottom but it's in two at the minute so once you've done that you got to check the seat height as well now what I would recommend is when you're checking the seat height I'm getting on the bike really weird here so. you don't know how annoying it is not having a lemon tripod okay so when you're picking your seat position um, this is just mine personally, but I have a little like, uh, key and you just scratch it so you know where you are. Um, so there's mine. About there. As you see, that looks alright ish. Um, sort of just below my waist, so it's meant to be up here regularly, but it's sort of on my thigh where my pocket is. Apparently, it's wrong. It's, it's, it works different for everyone, but um, now we're going to get on the bike like FPV let's go okay so I did just try that like clip mount thing on the floor and try to put it in on my like top tube uh, didn't work do not recommend any of that um, oh for god's sake everything's on the floor so what now we're going to go through the stages um, I've had to cut like tons out because nothing's working so we're going to go through the stages of the like the pop and the, uh, the, the continual Pedaling, we'll say. So let's do it. Okay, so this might have like subtitles because camera on the camera, the, cam the microphone on the camera isn't too good. But, um, so this is the pop. This is the first thing we're sort of going to do. It works in sequence with the, with the first one. So, so it's sort of you lean down. the suspension sort of thing. So you can press the suspension and then you've got to do that in time with the second bit which is shove. So you want to find your most sort of dominant foot and then with that foot you're going to shove down on the crank really hard whilst doing a hop as well. Another quick demonstration of the shove. So now, when you put it all together, you want to lean back a tiny bit. You might fall off on this first bit, but you lean back, do the pop and the shove all at once. I'll probably slow it down so you can see. So, here we go. And once you've got that pop and shove, you're going to try and... After the first sort of initial shove, you'll probably fall back a bit. 
and with that to counter that you want to um, you want to pull on your brake a tiny bit just feather it learn to feather it so you're not falling flat back down again like this and but your your what's it called um, you're, you're staying on the wheel But it's mainly all about just getting a feel for how it feels to sort of pop, shove it, and then um, pull the brakes at the same time, but then lean with it as well. So pull the brakes to lean back. I mean, pull the brakes if you're going too far back. If you're going too far forwards, increase the pedals. Um, so now we're going to do like a FPV shot, see how it goes. Okay, so minor adjustments. Um, so when you're on the bike, um, you're going to be in your sort of low gear, so I'm in four now, um, and you want to come round a nice straight area, as you can see here we've got quite a run up, um, oh my god this camera angle is going to be so annoying, um, so I have one finger on the brake, if you're experienced and you want to do tricks, this is so irritating, very sorry. If you're experienced and you want to get, do tricks, I would recommend always keeping a finger on this brake um, and it makes sure it's enough that you can reach across and get, get it as well. So, always keep a finger on the brake. This other hand you can take off when you get comfortable. Plane, please go away, you're making too much noise. Um, so yeah, let's do it. Right now, so hopefully the super view on the GoPro, it's still a Hero 5, but it should do. Hopefully the super view captures everything I'm doing. So uh, this is like the FPV version of what I'm doing. I'm gonna say what I'm doing as I'm doing it. So it should hopefully just help you out to gauge what to do. So we're gonna increase a bit of speed, get a bit, a little, little bit of speed. And then I'm gonna pop, shove, and I'm gonna pull the brake, pull the brake, keep pedaling, pull the brake if I go back. If I go back, pull the brake, and then if I go too far forwards, start pedaling, go faster, and then pull it back as you go back too much until you get it. Now, what I would recommend is instead of jumping off the back, so if you go too far back, instead of doing that, don't do it because it hurts your knees and you could get, it might not show, but it, you get your trousers caught on there and it's not fun. The amount of times I've had to start home with a massive hole in my bum, the, the trowel's a bit, um, yeah, it's not fun. And uh, so yeah, pull the brake. Instead of falling off and splitting your trousers and breaking your knees, pull the brake, okay? It doesn't matter how hard you slam, just hold on and don't go over the bars when you slam. So go too far back, you wanna pull the brake, pull the brake, pull the brake, and then pedal. Now let's say, Oh, corner, and now I'm going to go down a bit, so I'll have to increase speed. So if I'm starting to go down, I pedal faster, like so, and then round the corner to drop. Now, this will take a lot of practice, so be ready, get some drink, some snacks, and uh, yeah, hello camera shadow, and then you should be good. Okay, so let me just get this head mount on again. Like that, I've got to loosen it a bit. Right, so now let's say you've learned how to wheelie, you've spent a couple hours outside doing stuff and you've finally gotten it. Now, this is the most second, like, crucial part to wheeling. So I'm coming along, right? I've done my pop, I've done my shove, I'm coming along, braking, leaning forwards. Now what? I'm going to go into a bush. Uh-oh, I'm going into a bush. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Like that. You, you don't want that to happen. So now, now we're going to learn how to turn. Very nice. So this car park's pretty good because it's got layout. So I'm going to sort of go right around the bend. Now I'm going left. So to turn, you want to look at where you're going, lean into it. Just sort of lean, um, whilst making sure you keep your balance, obviously. Um, lean. Now if I'm going right, you might end up turning your wheel to the left, which just helps with sort of balance a bit. Um, make sure you put your foot out if you go too far over. Don't want to be breaking any skulls. 
So now we're gonna go for that bush again, but this time move out the way. So pop, shove, get up, keep balance. I'm gonna turn left, so I'm gonna to lean to the left a bit, turn my wheel to the right, and then go around. Um, now if you do it enough, wait, oh, that was terrible. You do end up doing a bit of a death spin at the end. Not a full one though, because I'm just not that good. So yeah, that's how to turn. And it's a lot of work with your sort of thighs and your bum as well to move the seat left and right. That also helps a lot. Okay, that's gonna do it for today's video. So hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you have any suggestions, put them in the Discord or in the comments. Um, preferably in the Discord, just because it helps to plan everything out. And uh, yeah, that's it from me. Uh, peace.